Hey guys, how's it going? Chess back again with another episode of the Chelsea career mode here on Xbox One. And we start this one with an away game at Goodison Park against Everton in the rain. And now we're actually starting this one again with another important question. I, I had an important question in yesterday's video, which you guys will have answered. I'm recording this before that video has gone up. So if you missed the uh, the video yesterday, there'll be an annotation in the bottom left hand side of your picture to take you to that video. If you haven't seen it and you haven't uh, been able to, uh, to give me any feedback on the questions I asked in it, then please do feel free to check that video out. But the the question in this one is, is it time to step up to legendary from world class? I've been contemplating it for a while because we've been starting the uh, the season very, very strongly indeed. Up until this point against Everton, we've won almost every single game and I'm finding myself, when I'm playing the games, not necessarily as challenged as, uh, as I was last season. Obviously, we've been improving the squad and the players have been that we have already have been growing and the players we've been bringing in have been better and having a uh, more influential uh, influence I guess on the on the, the team and the way it plays and I've not been feeling like I've had to try so hard to uh, to get results I'm not saying it's easy at the minute on world class it definitely isn't but it's not as hard as it was uh, last season so I'm contemplating moving up to legendary I uh, I have recorded two more episodes actually in legendary to uh, to try and see where you know where we stand with uh, if it's going to be difficult or not but of course I want to get your guys feedback on it and your thoughts on it as well before I make a genuine 100% certain decision so uh, the the rest of the week for career mode will be done on legendary after today obviously this one is still on world class next two episodes will be legendary and we'll see over that period whether uh, whether it's a little bit more challenging for me personally or just because I'm kind of OCD about doing stuff uh, to the best of my ability and if I'm playing on world class and I can at least compete on legendary then I feel like I should be doing it on legendary to be fair to you guys and also of course a lot of other youtubers do it on legendary and I kind of want to match them if you know what I mean on a kind of personal level but anyway that's getting out of it let's get back to the action we were able to pick up three points against Everton fantastic result Fernando Torres with the only goal of the game they came very close a couple of times to, uh, to sneaking a point off us but uh, we were able to hold out and we actually travel away from home again in the next episode this time to standard Liège we're off to Belgium for our second game in the group stage of the Champions League this season we of course beat Valencia in the first game and as you can see Porto beat the uh, the Belgian side in their first game as well it's a very strong group with Porto and, uh, and Valencia in there but uh, the uh, this training ground move almost went wrong before Quadro Asamoa gives it an absolute thwack from distance that is a truly phenomenal strike from him it's uh, from the second replay it kind of is reminiscent of that Michael Essien goal against Arsenal although it snuck into the bottom corner rather than going right into the side netting uh, further up but you'll see from this second replay really great great strike honestly one of the best connections I've uh, I've actually had playing with this Chelsea side and Asamoah has been so so good since he came into the club that's actually his second goal now since uh, since signing from Juventus for just 12 million pounds I think we paid and Willian gets really really unlucky they're trying to squeeze the ball underneath the goalkeeper and pass the defender into the second half and unfortunately we stay at 1-0 but Asamoah is going to get another chance himself here and the goalkeeper makes a fantastic leaping save really acrobatic dive up to his left hand side to keep us out Willian's going to whip the corner in. Gary Cahill is going to be the man to go up and give us a 2-0 lead. Fantastic header, great leap and uh, we push clear in this one. Now Standard Liège are really going to have their uh, their work out to get themselves back into the game. Although they were going to pop the ball into the back of the net. Well, you can probably tell from uh, before we even get to the cutscene that uh, that it was offside, quite clear offside, a good 2 or 3 yards or so. So uh, we stay at 2-0 but they proved to me that they could get beyond me and put the ball into the net if they so wished. And uh, Asimov will come again very very close to, uh, to getting his second of the game a great save deflects off the defender and we're fort unfortunate rather that uh, they're able to uh, to clear the lines before it trickles over the uh, over the goal line but we're going to get another chance Romelu Lukaku has been brought on here and he really should be finishing that chance I was disappointed that he didn't that's the sort of uh, chance one off chance so you just need an all out finisher to uh, to pop the ball into the back of the net see the game out unfortunately he wasn't able to do so but we were able to take the three points so it, it doesn't uh, it doesn't affect us too much in that situation but I have this funny feeling that something is going to be in a very very important game and we're going to get that one chance and I'm, it's going to be Lukaku that's on the ball and he's not going to take it just got that horrible gut feeling that that's going to happen at some point during the uh, during the season but we come back to Barclays Premier League action once again we're at home against Arsenal it's a massive tie and as you can see we sat top of the league six points 
or six wins rather from the six games we've played so far three points clear of Man City and the only game they haven't won is of course the game that we beat them in in the previous episode so the the top of the table is still quite close but if we can continue to win then we will start to pull away from the rest but Lucas Podolski misses a glorious chance there open goal all he's got to do is slot it into the back of the net and he takes it on his weak foot and puts it high and wide really really awful miss from him but Andre Schell is going to break into the box Royce is going to arrive late and pick up his first goal for the club he's had a couple of uh, efforts in previous games where uh, the keeper has made a fantastic last ditch save and he's not been able to pick up that goal but this time he is able to find the back of the net he doesn't even come into picture till late uh, on this replay you can see Sherla turns back inside up pops Royce arriving late almost Frank Lampard-esque into the box and uh, pops the ball into the back of the net great finish away from uh, Wojciech Szczesny but we weren't able to keep that lead going for long Johan Kabay in an Arsenal shirt races away plays a lovely ball in behind David Luiz and it's Edin Dzeko that finishes the chance off tidily done underneath the goalkeeper to bring them back on level terms just a few minutes later in the 22nd minute then actually they were going to go 2-1 up here Johan Kabay again involved into Edin Dzeko once again another fantastic run this shot is actually going to be saved and it deflects straight to Santi Cazorla with a diving header and two goals in three minutes puts us behind against Arsenal after being in front and I felt comfortable actually and then they just whacked me with uh, those two quick goals and that kind of put me off balance for a little bit but uh, literally just two or three games or two or three minutes rather after that Marco Royce turns from a goal scorer to provider into Eden Hazard a fantastic first time finish and Wojciech Szczesny just has no chance. He doesn't even bother to dive for it. The uh, the ball from uh, from Schurla is absolutely... Not Schurla, from uh, Marco Royce is absolutely pinpoint. And uh, there's no way that uh, Eden Hazard was going to miss that chance. He even, I think, was a little bit cheeky with the finish, doing the, uh, you know, kind of looking the other way as he struck the ball. Maybe that's what threw uh, Wojciech Szczesny off because he couldn't see him to, uh, to see which way he was looking for the finish. But uh, fantastic finish nonetheless, even though uh, he may have been a little bit cocky with it. But we push into the second half. They're going to come close here. Theo Walcott draws a good save out of Petacek. Fortunately, David Luiz is able to hoof it clear. And uh, we're able to stay at 2-2. We're going to get a good chance here. Andre Scherl is going to play the ball into Royce. Into Luis Muriel. Gets a great turn. His feet are so, so good. Got the acceleration to get away from Per Mertesacker. But this time, Wojciech is able to, uh, to read the shot. And able to get across to it to keep us out. Now, we were able to get ourselves into the lead against Man City and pick up a 3-2 win but Szczesny just wasn't willing to uh, to let up that third goal and made save after save to keep me out trying to get a third goal and uh, that really would have finished the game off but again another save from the Polish keeper fantastic effort from him and that is how the game is going to finish at 2-2 so it's the first game this season that we haven't won but we're still undefeated in the Premier League which is absolutely superb you'll see from the league table on your screen now Aston Villa actually, uh, actually sits second although City do have a game in hand and can come within one point of us should they win that game but uh, we sit top for now six wins and one draw from our opening seven games a goal difference of plus nine only seven goals conceded but that's going to bring this episode to a close guys so please do feel free to leave the video a like if you could be so kind of course feel free to leave me some feedback in the comments let me know what you think of a potential step up to legendary and of course if you missed yesterday's video there's an annotation on the screen there to take you to that one and i am looking for some feedback on that video as well so if you could do that for me i'd be forever indebted to you but that's going to bring this one to a close so if you haven't subscribed to the channel feel free to do so there will be a link in the description and an annotation on screen over that subscribe button and that's all for today so i will see you tomorrow with some more interactive road to division one